Hello there, I'm Hannah. Today I'll show you how to make a special gift box filled with love, inspired by the signature looks and ideas of the influential black fashion designer Patrick Kelly. The museum's special exhibition, Patrick Kelly Runway of Love, explores how love was the centre of Kelly's world. He was known for his warmth and generosity of spirit. He said, I want my clothes to make you smile. What do you notice about his designs? I'm drawn to the bright, bold colours, along with his use of buttons, hearts and bows for decoration. Let's look at the materials we'll be using. A selection of colour paper, a pencil and a razor, colouring pencils or pens, a small box with lid like an old tea box, scissors, glue and a small tub and paintbrush if you're using white glue, and if you have them you might want to use ribbons, yarn and buttons, and a hot glue gun or a needle and thread for attaching buttons. I learnt more about Kelly by reading his love list. He included all the things he loved, from family and friends to famous people, from buttons, 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 to TV shows and Valentine candy boxes. See how he wrote, and you, at the end? This love list was given to the people who came to his fashion shows. We'll be writing a love list to put inside the gift box. But the first thing you need to do is decide who you're making it for. Now write down all the things you love about them. You could even decorate the list with pictures or patterns if you like. Do you notice what I've drawn in the border in honour of Patrick Kelly? His love of buttons came from his grandma, who mended the family's clothes with a mismatched rainbow of buttons at their home in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Now we can start decorating the box. I'm using this old tea box. I'll cut this bump off the edge to make it easier to cover with paper. Does the person you're giving the box to have a favourite colour? What might they like? You can cut the paper to roughly fit the sides of the box. Make sure the first pieces are a bit bigger. Cut slits at the corners. Add plenty of glue to the paper. Stick to the box wrapping the edges around the corners. Or you could cut strips or shapes of colour paper and cover the box with them using white glue. We call that decoupage. Once the white glue is dry, you can trim any edges if you need to. Now we're ready to add some buttons. Experiment to see how many and where you want them before you carefully stick with hot glue. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you could use a needle and thread to sew the button onto a piece of paper. And then stick that to the box with white glue. Make sure not to stick buttons anywhere that would stop the lid from fitting. Now I'm going to carefully fold the love list and place it inside the box. and finish it off by tying it with a ribbon. There are so many ways to decorate a gift box. 
You could even glue yarn or ribbon instead of paper. When you give the gift box of love, you could talk about your favourite part of the project and even share what you learned about Patrick Kelly. Thanks for joining me.